praise is due to Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Peace and blessings upon our beloved Prophet, his family and companions. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, good evening. Uh, today we are going to discuss the topic of religion and science, compatibility or contradiction. Uh, and today maybe I will not be able to discuss uh, the topic of all religions, but I will focus only on Islam. Maybe we should say Islam and science, compatibility or contradiction. <clears throat> well, it has never been during the Islamic civilization a conflict between science, knowledge, and religion. Uh, since the beginning of the revelation of the Holy Quran to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first word, word which was revealed was read, iqra. And the Holy Quran mentions maybe the word knowledge in different ways and different expressions, maybe more than 50 or 100 times. Uh, since we believe that Allah is He who revealed or sent the revelation of the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel uh, and uh, we believe that the Holy Quran contains the knowledge of Allah. Qul anzalahu bi Say, he revealed it, he sent revelation with his knowledge. So the Holy Quran contains the knowledge of Allah. The knowledge of Allah is the content of the Holy Quran of Islam, either in the Quran or in the Sunnah, the citations of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the universe has been created by the Almighty Allah. Allah who revealed, who sent revelation, is the creator of the universe. The rules governing the universe, the laws governing the universe, are a divine rules. So it is illogical that it can be a, a contradiction between the knowledge of Allah and the creation of Allah. The gravity law, the laws of energy in the universe, the, the law of causality and the other rules and laws governing the universe are all the creations of Allah. And this uh, accurate organization of the universe is the creation of Allah Ta'ala. The Holy Quran describes the universe in different ways. In the physical aspect, it describes how the universe is wide, the wideness of the universe. Inna rabbakum Allah alladhi khalaq as-samawati wal-ard fi sittati ayya. Your Lord, verily your Lord, is He who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Of course, the word six days means other dimensions than our dimensions on the earth. Six days on the earth are not the same. If we know the relativity of time, we can distinguish between these expressions of the Holy Quran. So uh, since the beginning of Islam, Al-Quran invites the Muslim to seek knowledge. There is no uh, separation or distinction in the Holy Quran between the knowledge of 
the Islamic sciences, sciences and the sciences of the universe. Uh, the meaning of knowledge in Al Quran is unlimited, is limitless. So the Holy Quran invites the Muslim to seek knowledge either in uh, the Islamic sciences or in the physical existence of this world. The laws through physics sciences, through chemistry, through astronomy, through mathematics, through medical studies, through biological studies and geological studies, because those sciences are to discover the rules governing this universe, then to discover the wisdom of the Almighty Allah and how the accuracy of everything in this universe and how this universe lives in harmony and in a very accurate existence which leads us to believe in the Almighty Allah who revealed Islam. So through our history we have never lived a war between scientists and religious uh, representant uh, or the scholars of religion and mosques and the scholars of the physical world in different fields of knowledge. Oppositely maybe, conversely, we have seen scholars in the mosque in Islamic studies in the same time specialized in physics or astronomy uh, or mathematics or sciences, biology, medical studies. We know Ibn Sina who was a scientist who memorized the Holy Quran before he reached 10 years old. We know Al Hassan Ibn Al Haytham called by the Western people Al Hazin, right? We know Ibn Rushd, the philosopher, who was also specialized in Islamic studies and Islamic jurisprudence. So in the beginning of Islam, in the beginning of the Islamic civilization, Muslims, since they have understood the meaning of Islam and they have understood the content of the Holy Quran, they worked both on the Islamic sciences field and the physical sciences, the sciences of the universe, because there is a complementarity between both of them. You can be an, an imam, a scholar in Islamic studies, and in the same time you can further, you can carry on your research in the in laboratory, in chemical studies. We have known many scholars, Jabir ibn Hayyan. We have known Az Zuhri. We have known in medical studies, uh, Al Fakhr, uh, Abu Bakr Al Razi, who was a, a doctor in medical studies or a researcher at that time uh, of medical studies. Uh, Ibn Sina, who has developed many kinds of research in medical studies and in surgery. He has described the tools of surgery in his book, Al Kanun Fi Tib, which is called in France Canon. And uh, actually, he developed this kind of sciences. And they have developed this. There have never been a problem between science, religion, and between the texts of the Holy Quran and science. Al-Quran describes 
the Holy Quran describes the universe in different ways in many verses of the Holy Quran. Maybe we will need to come back again to elaborate more uh, on this issue because I think it is very interesting and very important to understand and to avoid to confuse between Islam and other religions where they had big problems between church and scientists, where scientists have been tortured, killed, murdered, just because they have declared their discoveries, their scientific discoveries and inventions. And inshallah, we'll try to elaborate more in the next programs and sessions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.